On this morning's Health Watch, the H1N1 vaccine. The first wave of vaccinations against the H1N1 virus are expected to begin in October. But a new report out of London says that vaccine might pose a slight danger. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton joins us now this morning. Uh, doctor, good to see you. Good morning, Jeff. Um, this goes back to something called GBS. Let, let's explain for everyone what GBS right. is. Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS, is a rare disorder. It affects the nerves, so it's a neurologic condition that shares some elements with an autoimmune condition. It usually gets triggered by an infection or in this case, possibly a vaccination against an infection and results in a progressive weakening of the nerves in the body, starts in the legs, works its way up. Most of the time people get better on their own, but in some rare cases it can cause death. And all of this concern goes back to 1976. What happened then? Right, so the history behind this is in Fort Dix, New Jersey, a soldier actually became ill and died with influenza and there was an influenza outbreak at Fort Dix and they found both swine flu and regular Gosh. influenza pneumonia. The fear was that this was a resurgence or a comeback of the deadly 1918 influenza virus that killed so many millions of people. And did they definitely get GBS from the vaccination? That's a known association, Jeff. So it's thought to occur about one time out of every million vaccinations. It does occur or seem to occur a little more often with influenza. But again, it's rare. And in the case of 1976, the fear was that this influenza outbreak was coming back and they really right. pushed people right. to get and, vaccinated. And, and, and we should repeat how rare it is. One out of every Extremely rare. million vaccinations. That's right. That said, if you're counseling someone, your patients or anybody else right now, do you get the H1N1 vaccine? Well, look, it's a very important question and it's one that has to be made by each individual person with some good information and credible, reputable information from a healthcare professional. It comes down, Jeff, to risk versus benefit. The risk of dying of this H1N1 vaccine, luckily, is very low. It's about one in a thousand. The risk of getting GBS or Guillain-Barre from an influenza vaccination is thought to be one in a million. If you are a high-risk group, the benefits of the vaccination might be worth the risk for you. But again, that's an individual decision. I think it should be right. left up to the patient. My, my wife is six months pregnant. Right. We're, we're looking to do that, obviously. I assume right. that's something you would counsel. What, what do people need to do before they get the H1N1 vaccine? Again, recognize nothing in life is zero risk, Jeff. And again, this luckily the H1N1 virus has been mild in the majority of people who have been affected with it. Again, vaccinations can be very, very important and life-saving in certain high-risk groups. Make your decision with good information. And again, I think that decision needs to be respected. That sounds like some great advice. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so you much bet, this Jeff. morning.